Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 9 in the series of 15 lessons, in the first series of 15 videos. Lesson number 9 on the topic of absolute value inequalities. And today also happens to be day num our, our day number 124 in the series. Here's the problem. Problem for the today is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. It says, it says, which of the following, which of the following is an irrational number? Which of the following happens to be an irrational number that is a solution that is a solution to the following equation? Absolute value of x squared minus 22, absolute value of x squared minus 22 minus 14 equals 0. And here are the answer choices: 6, 2 root 2. 2 root 3, 3 root 2, and 4 root 2. I want you to pause the video at this point. I want you to solve the problem yourself. Once you have done so, then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do, will do together in a few seconds time. I'll give you 5 seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video. Here we go. Alright, here we go. First thing first, First thing first, we need to first bring this negative 4 to that side. So let's do that. Let's add 14 to both sides. Negative 4 drops out and we find that absolute value of x squared minus 22 would have to equal 14. 0 plus 14. So far so good. Since the absolute value of this quantity is equal to 14, that, in, that tells us that, that tells us that either, either x squared minus 22 would have to be equal to negative 14 because absolute value of negative 14 is equal to 14 or or x squared minus 12 uh, minus 22 would have, would have to equal positive 14 those are the only two scenarios where the absolute value of this quantity x squared minus 22 is going to equal to 14 it's going to equal to 14 when x squared minus 22 is either negative 14 because absolute value of negative 14 is 14 or x squared minus 22 is equal to positive 14 because absolute value of positive 14 happens to be 14. Now we just solve for x squared. Let's add 22 to both sides. 22 drops out and x squared equals negative 14 and a positive 22 is going to give us positive 8. If x squared is equal to positive 8 which of course is same as 4 times 2, that tells us that that implies that x would have to be equal to positive or negative square root of 4 times 2, which is same as positive or negative 2 root 2. Because the square root of 8, positive or negative square root of 8, because the square root of 8 is 2 root 2. So those are, the, those are two possible scenarios, and let's find, find out from here. Now, before I embark upon that side, I hope that you are able to see immediately and I hope that you are able to see, see this thing what I'm about to say from the very beginning, from the right from the very beginning, that this is a nonsensical answer. Why is that a nonsensical answer? Not only that is a nonsensical answer, but that also happens to be a sucker's answer. And if you are not careful, you might end up, end up picking that answer. Get rid of the sucker's answer as quickly as possible because the question says, let's read the question one more time, it says, which of the following is an irrational number which of the following is an irrational number that happens to be a solution a solution notice the article it's an indefinite article which of the but let's we'll, we'll worry about that part in a second the part that i'm emphasizing right now is the fact that it has to be an irrational number it says which of the following is an irrational number six is not an irrational number we can we can sit here and waste our time doing all this work here i don't well, actually, we, never, we don't know. We never know what, what we're going to get here. Let's add 22 to this side. I was being too hasty. Let's find out. But my gut feeling is that it's going to be some perfect square de dealing with 6. So negative, two, negative 22 and positive 22 is going to cancel out. And x squared is equal to 14 plus 22, which is 6. Ah, what do you know? It's 36 exactly. Which tells us that x is either positive 6 or negative 6. So how many solutions does this does this equation have this equation that is given to us absolute value of x squared minus 22 minus 14 equals 4 has 
equals equals zero. X squared absolute value of x squared minus 22 minus 14 equals zero has four solution. One, two, three, four solutions. Two on this side, two on that side. X could be either positive root eight. X could be either negative root eight. Those are the two irrational number that you, that we're that we're looking for. Or x could also be positive six or negative six. Positive six is negative six is very easy to see whether whether x is equal to positive six or negative six. By the time you square the x, it becomes thirty six. And thirty six minus twenty two is fourteen. Absolute value of fourteen is fourteen. And fourteen minus fourteen is zero. Or it could be positive or negative square root of eight. Why? Because because if x is equal to square root of eight, which means x squared is eight. Okay, what happens? X, x, x squared is eight. We can do it here. What can we put it here? Let's put it here. X squared minus fourteen. Absolute value. If, if x happens, if x happens to be either positive, positive root eight or negative root eight, that means x squared has to be eight. If x squared is eight, eight minus fourteen. Eight minus fourteen is how much? We have a problem here. X squared is equal to eight, and eight minus twenty-two is there. You go. Eight minus twenty-two is eight minus twenty-two is going to be negative fourteen. Eight minus twenty-two is going to be negative. It's negative. That's where I'm getting wrong. Is x squared minus twenty-two? Let's do it here. X squared minus 22 absolute value. If x squared, if x happens to be positive 8 or negative, if x happens to be either positive square root of 8 or negative square root of 8, in which case x squared is going to be 8. So 8 minus 22 is going to be absolute value of negative 14, which is 14, and 14 minus 14 is going to give us a zero. So it has four solutions. Out of these four possible solutions, out of these four possible values of x that can that can satisfy the given equation, two of them are rational and two of them are irrational. Since question is asking which of the following, which of the following is an irrational number that happens to be a solution to the equation, we are looking at either a positive root, root positive root eight or negative root eight. But root eight can be the same as two root two. Two root right there, two root two. It's not two root three. It's not uh, any. Even though all of these are irrational numbers, but they won't qualify. The answer is two root two. Now let's get back to the final point before I completely forget and before I close the video. Why do they use the indefinite article? Why do they use the indefinite article? A. It says which of the following is an irrational number that is a solution to the equation? Why a solution? Why not? the solution because it has four possible solution and out of the four possible solutions they are telling you that uh, the, but they, they, won't, they are not telling us that there are four solutions but there we found out that there are four that there, there turn out to be four possible solutions to the equation and out of those four there happens to be one a uh, solution to that equation which happens to be irrational number among the answer choices which is two root two bye now